Welcome back to Vegas Live with Ninon. I'm Ninon, your host, and of course we're down here. The Pepper Mill, absolutely fabulous. I have an author with me. Well, I just had one, but that's not what she only does. Her name is Christy K. KK. Christy, how are you? Yes, I'm so great. How are you? Absolutely amazing. Now, a little word just told me that you were something on the, Something's Got Talent. What do you want? What are you all about? Oh, so I literally just left an audition for America's Got Talent because I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, yes. So oh, that's why she's so funny. <laughs> I didn't wonder why. I thought this was just her natural way. So you went up as, as America's Got Talent? Mm-hmm. Yep. And how did you do? I think I did pretty well, actually. Is this your first time doing it? Mm-hmm. And is this the first leg? This is. This, this is the first leg. So yep. now they have to choose you. Correct. So what sort of... Um, jokes do you tell? Well, well, I'm very serious at the moment. She didn't know what I was going to ask her. <laughs> she laughs already. Yeah, right. So what sort of jokes do you come out with as of being a woman? Because, you know, one sure. of the greatest was, um, you know, there's a lot of good women out there. Yeah. I'm forgetting all their names. But there are a lot of good. Of Joan course. Rivers was one of them. Yes, absolutely. So do you kind of go a little bit on her format? Um, so she's probably a little bit more like... Um, like dirtier than I am, um, I because I'm so tall. I'm six foot five. Six so, foot five. Yes, six I'm foot five. Um, so I just automatically have a unique perspective, literally. Yes. Um, you see just all the on tops the world. Of the heads. Yes. You see all the heads. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I don't know. I I've always used comedy ever since I was a head taller than everyone, which has been my entire life. Yeah. Um, started out as a coping method. Now I use it as a you know, as a career. living, as exactly. a career, as a living. Yeah. So when you walk out on stage with America's Got Talent, uh -huh. what what are you feeling, and who was the who were the judges? Um, so the judges were well. Today it was just like the producers. Oh, okay. Just the so big, yes. The so I don't event. even know. Yeah, they're not the big celebrities yet. Not yet. Yes, but so I'll find out in this. like a month if I'm going to be on it. So how do you feel? I feel great. You feel that. Did you, did you think you made it? Was it just for comedians or was it for comedians, singers and acrobats? Yeah, it's literally everything. Oh, it was for everything? Yes. Were there yes. any other comedians there that you had to compete with? Um, so my audition, um, they call it a Q act because I, I knew um, a performer from last year that kind of got me in. Oh. So mine was just on my own. But like if you just want to go to an open audition, you, you do have to audition with other people and stuff. So yeah. mine was just me. And so I think oh, that that's cool a, that I that's, know, it's a good few, sign. A few steps yeah. up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what, and I don't know how it worked. I literally just learned everything today. You learned and everything so, today of yeah. how it works. Yeah. Do, do you like how it works? Always knowing the front of it, but not knowing the back of it. Yes. So do you like how they put it together? Are they doing good? Yeah, I think everything is really organized, actually. And, um, yeah, I, I feel confident in what I did, and I'm just going to hope for the best. Can you imagine? So. We, everybody out there. There. You have to go to <laughs> Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube and you have to subscribe and you have to put as many numbers on hers because if this goes out then because she's got a lot of viewers, yeah. it puts her up in it a little yes. bit. And this is going to be put out there, I don't know, probably Steve will put it out there probably this week, I hope this week, so we can get yeah. subscribers. Yes. So you also have to share it. This yes. is how social media works. And this is how we get people like Christy Kay mm -hmm. up into the winning circle. Yeah. We, keep, we, pro we help her. Yeah. You know, we help her move along. Yes. We all subscribe to her. Right. We all view her. Right. And I'm, I'm not pushing you to push it. I'm pushing you to push you. Because yeah. that's what Vegas Live with Nina does. What we do, we promote acts. We promote people. Yeah. We push people out. That's what we do here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, yeah. You know, so what was your first, can you tell me your joke? What was your first joke? Or do you um, need an audience? I'm an uh, audience. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the the audience. <laughs> um, my first joke. Okay, so um, so like I said, I'm six five, and yeah. so sometimes people kind of question like my gender, right? And yeah. so what well, I think say, you're a man. Uh, well, sometimes. Turned into a woman. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can go for that. You know. Okay. Well, yeah. then, these and things so, do happen. You it's, know. It is very true. Yeah. And so my joke is um, because I'm a woman, I like to keep a camel toe at all times. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's got it already. So this is how you come out. So. Do yeah. you make kind of jokes about yourself and who you are and what you are? Yeah, so um, I don't like to 
Um, I definitely do jokes about like being tall, but like not in a degrading way, if that no, makes sense. No. Um, well, you are so, what you are. You, you can't. Absolutely. You can't get any shorter. I can't. I yeah. It's, nothing, it's like me wanting to be taller. Right? Yeah. You know, they told me that if I put my hands out, I hang from the ceiling or something. I'm gonna grow. Like stretch I, out I, a little. I while. presume my arms would get longer, and the rest of the body would stay how it is. Yeah, Unless yeah. you hold me up by the neck, and if you hold me up by the neck, yeah, I'm gonna be dead on arrival. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good. <laughs> that wouldn't be good at all. No. no. But um, but I'm single, like I was telling you before we. Oh, this is my second up. guest that we've now become a dating service here because she's I'm available. available. <laughs> Chris K is available. That's right. You haven't found anybody yet, obviously. You've never been married yet. I've not not yet. I'm not 32. Yet. So um she's 32. Yeah. She's six foot five. She's blonde and she has an incredible sense of humor. Can you cook? Yes. And I she can, can cook, cook as well. Can you still have babies? Yes. She can still. I don't. How does she know she can still have babies? You haven't practiced. No. Well. No. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I, who's a comedian? You are. Yeah, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting ta- confused. Tag team in it. Hey, listen, hang on a second. We could go on together. Yeah, we could. Oh, that's the that, that comedian thing. The short and the tall. Yeah, exactly. You could be the my short. mini-me. <laughs> a mini-me. <Yeah. laughs> I could be a mini Christy yeah. K. Yeah. A yeah. mini KK. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why oh, not? Let's get back to that, that Christy. So, Christy, um, you did this show today. How has your comedic side of life as of a career gone so far? Um, It's pretty good. Um, So, I was actually picked about three years ago to be on a reality TV show called My Giant Life. Okay. And it oh. aired on um, TLC. Okay. So, I, I was actually the... Sh- and it's a reality show about tall women. I was actually okay. the shortest one on the whole show. So... Yeah, so you think I'm tall. They roomed me with a girl that was 6'9". Six, 6'9"? Nine. Six, nine. Yeah, so I was just a little short. Well, you were quite, you were kind of on the same level, though, weren't you? Yeah, you but know, she... A couple of inches different, right. but the same kind of level, whereas you yeah. and I are ridiculous. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> that's that's true. true. Yeah. But, so, this, yeah. so you started that? Yeah, so I was actually... It's kind of a crazy story. So I have a master's degree in psychology, so I was okay. working as a therapist in South Dakota. I got picked for this reality show. They wanted to follow my start into comedy and so they moved me to Vegas um you know oh they moved you to Vegas yeah the reality show yes yeah yeah and then in with the girl that's 6'9 and then they filmed me getting into stand up and so yeah and then that I don't know I always like to say comedy found me and it's like I kind of I've feel like I'm on track. Well, you're kind of rolling off on something that is probably with inside of you. I mean, Absolutely. There's, there's a lot of inside to take up there. That so is a, it's cool. a lot. You, it's can, a you lot. can hold a lot in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. So you've been, yeah. how long have you been in Vegas? Uh, about three years now. Three yeah. years now. Mm-hmm. So how is Vegas treating you as your comedic side and getting jobs there? It's actually really good. And oh, I, I love I started, to hear that. Yeah. And, and I started producing shows as well, too, which is super fun. And I awesome. like to get to know, like, the back end of stuff. So, okay. yeah. So this is the back end of Vegas Live with yeah, me now. Yeah, here this we is, are. We've been here four years. <laughs> okay. And this is going good. into our fifth year. We're doing extremely well. Good. And so everything's, you know, it's sort of, you know. Yeah. I just had the Rock Vault on, one of the big, big shows in, in town. Sure, yeah. I just had them on. So things are very progressing. 2020, I always mm-hmm. call it 2020 vision because that's what we're in. It's literally, yeah. It's literally, exactly. Now, I have a book here that says, I had, uh, what do you mean? I had above, I had a, above the rest. I had above I, the rest. I'm head yeah. above the rest, which means you are. Yeah. So this is a, a children's book you wrote. It's a children's book, yep. And it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so the. Um, oh, it's a giraffe. The main character's a giraffe. What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it actually starts out where obviously the giraffe does represent me. Um, but she starts getting made fun of by all these like different animals and um, kind of learns some lessons, um, you know, like however anyone's treating you, that's a reflection of who they are, has nothing to do with who you are. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, and so takes that information back to the other animals, and then they're like, you're right, and then they all start disclosing their own insecurities. So then they see you like where you are, because you could be insecure being so tall, yeah. but you're not. Right. So, yeah. you know, we don't think of it that way when someone...
someone's tour, we, we admire them. Right. We think, right. wow, they're so great. And they, you know, they can, yeah. you know, they, they, they kind of control our situation. Sure. We feel. Right, right, right. It doesn't necessarily say that's what you do. Sure. They're just the same as us. Right, right, right. Just sing at a little different, it's a different. A different height. That's all it is. And, so, I, and I think for a woman, it's a little different too, you know, because like any tall man, it's like, yeah. But then it's like, oh, a tall woman, you know, because I definitely highlight insecurities in men. You know, it's just like, but I like to think I weed out those guys just automatically. Well, I think she's weeded tall. them all out because she's not married yet yeah. and she's available. <laughs> now, you've true. been on dating sites and you said you yeah. don't care for them too much. Well, um, honestly, it's like, it's not hard to find a boyfriend. No, like, it's, well, you're pretty. It's not, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but it's just like, I usually find the guys that are just like obsessed or, you know what I mean? It's like the intensity do, do is like they too of, much. When, I was gonna say, when they date you or when they're with you, do they find that because they're inhibited by your tallness and they kind of feel, yeah. you know, because short guys, yeah. I mean, a guy the same height as me or shorter feels yeah. insecure, right. you know, and which they shouldn't because who cares? It's right, you, exactly. You are born how you're born. I always say that everybody in the entire world mm -hmm. cannot choose how they're born. They are born. There were two people got together and you arrived. Right. You did not choose that. Exactly. But you have to live with it. Exactly. So you've got to make the best yeah, you can Yeah, absolutely. It. So guys yeah. get a little in insecure with you? Well, um, yeah, and I think height's just one of the things, you know, and I'm I'm a really hard worker, you know, and I, I kind so of... So you're um, intelligent, hard worker, you cook, <laughs> you do all the above. Right. But I, but I think, like, you know, um, I kind of think of it as, like, if I'm trying to date somebody that's, like, crazy in shape, they just want to be at the gym all the time. Yeah. It's like that, to me, it's like, oh, that's exhausting, because now do I have to go to the gym all the time? Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> it kind of highlights my lack of going to the gym like all the time. You don't want to go to the gym. No, I like it. It's okay, but it's, I don't want to be obsessed oh, no, with it. No, you know no, what I mean? No. And, and I've also dated other comedians that have been, a com like, a comedian longer than me, and they're like, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> well, exactly. That's what gave me the confidence to even do comedy, because they're not even funny. <laughs> 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 so, I was just like, you know, they think they're all badass because they... I've been doing comedy for a long time, but I'm like, but you're not even making money but doing it. Comedy, um, like Robert Williams. Uh -huh. um, to me, he was very natural. Really, didn't read anything or do anything. Right. Typically, like my show, I don't know who this woman is at all until she just sat down here, right? Yeah, that's I great. Do, we just so I like I love off the cuff. I'm yes. very off the cuff person. Yes, yeah, yeah, You can yeah. find out who somebody is in a couple of seconds, and you, so you're very similar to that. Yeah. Do you find you make up it when you're on stage? You suddenly see audience because you always pick one hair, one hair, one hair. Oh, yeah. You pick three people yeah. that you kind of, they're laughing. Uh -huh. So you communicate with those three. Right. And all of those over there think you're looking at all of them, but you're not. You're just looking at that one person. Right, right, right. And you're feeding off that's, those people. Yes. Isn't that what you do? I love it, yeah. yeah that's how mm -hmm. you kind of, so that's how you get your audience together. Mm -hmm. So do you kind of make up jokes sometimes as you go along? Those things funny Oh, things? yeah. That's actually how jokes develop, honestly. Like, I've said things on stage before where they'll just kill it, and I don't even... It's not even something you think about before before no. it comes out of your mouth. No. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to remember to write that down after I get off stage. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I just wrote a joke. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's so, where thing. are you performing in town? <clears throat> Yeah, so tonight... Apart I'm, from America's Got Talent. Right. Um, so um, I've actually been performing a lot with uh, Vicki Barbalock at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy oh, Club. Oh, yes. So she's there every Tuesday, so I'm okay. there tonight. You're there so, tonight? Yeah. Okay, where is it again? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. It's in the Link Promenade. The Link Promenade, okay. So um, right, like, where you go to get on the high roller. Yeah. So oh, I, I know where you are. Yeah. Yes, I know exactly where you are. Yeah. It's by the Link. Yeah. All around that area. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah. So don't forget to go there tonight, yeah. see what she's up to and see what she's doing. Yeah. It should be fun. Yeah. So whereabouts, so you're going to be there every, every um, I guess, Tuesday. Well, I have been. So I know she changed her contract a little bit, so I'm not sure about details. But you're, but but you're still going to be there. Yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. Whatever day it is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of all over the place. The best the best way to keep track of me is probably social media stuff. Where can they find you? So uh, Krista K Comedy on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
TikTok. Been all trying the social to get media. It. Yeah, TikTok. all of it. What's this TikTok thing going so, on? So, I know. I'm not even it? sure. I think I'm too old to use it, but I'm going to try no, no, anyway. No, 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 it's a media thing. I, it I was, really is. No, but I was talking about TikTok the other day about it. It was all to do with the stock market. And, yeah. you know, so, you know, so now you mentioned TikTok. So it's a media place you can put it's stuff so, in. Yeah, so it's almost like a... It's almost like a miniature version of YouTube or something yeah. for like a shorter, like attention span. It's <laughs> kind <Attention>. of because <laughs> I think you can only do like the longest video you can do is a minute long, which is plenty long enough. Yeah. Do you know the attention span of most people? And this is why we cut our interviews down. Instead of having half hour, an hour interviews, <laughs> we've cut them down to 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes I go up. 20 minutes, but it, because the attention span is not there. Right. Then they're talking. <laughs> anyway. oh, yeah. My dad's talking. Yeah, that, yeah his, her father is out there and he's kind of, you know, he's kind of, yeah. he's, he's trying to overtake our, our interview. Hey, Pop, you're talking too loud. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> he's trying to take a... See, he's jealous of you being on the yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. Trying Chris's to steal father's it. out here and she's supporting him. And isn't that <laughs> wonderful to get, you know, your parents out there supporting Yeah. Isn't and that he, wonderful? And he's, what is he... He helps you around or what? Well, so he actually still lives in South Dakota. Oh, so okay. he's so just here because um, basically we're celebrating our holidays right now. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, um, he just he, he lives a little... Supporter? What's big that? supporter of yours. Oh he? yeah, and yeah. He, he doesn't mind his daughter doing comedic. Things. Well, he probably minds, but <laughs> <laughs> but he do knows that. Uh, do you come out with some bad words or things like that? I don't really cuss, like you on don't stage. Uh uh. Okay, all right. I mean, off stage, yes, but <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> you should, maybe you should try it on stage. Too. I know. You well, know. I think yeah. I I don't know. Coming I from should. a woman, cussing coming from a woman is totally different than coming from a man. Though, yeah. Even in the comedy side of life. Right, right, right. But I, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you're comfortable. It is. At. Yeah, and I think just because I I also have a children's book out, <laughs> so I can't <laughs> I can't like <laughs> a little bit. I can't I really I be that. like. That's absolutely you can't come out there. Whoa, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're I, cutting all the words because it's on TV. Yeah, it's just like beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. 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 Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. You know like, when they beep on TV, yeah. it means there's something that's cut. Yeah. So I'll be like, also buy my children's book. They're like, no. I was never one for that, <laughs> for, for any cussing, because my dad was very strict. Pretty yeah. Awesome. And I don't know, you know, at that time, maybe I appreciated, maybe I didn't, but I sure do yeah. appreciate it now. Because right. Think, yeah, a woman is a woman. You know. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can reach you on Christy K on all the medias, all the, everything yeah, Christy out there. Yeah, Christy K comedy. And then yeah. they can see you tonight. Yeah, but Jimmy Kimmel's. Jimmy Kimmel's? Yeah. He's got Jimmy Kimmel. Is, is it this new thing with a Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah, it's a fairly new. He just nice. opened up on this thing? Yeah, just a few months ago. I happen to like the guy. I saw a couple of his shows in Los Angeles, and the mm -hmm. guy, he's such a nice guy. Yeah. Very, very nice. I haven't met him yet. You haven't? No. Oh, when you meet him, he's just so sweet. He's got this lovely smile. He's, <laughs> he's yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. And well, he was to me. I mean, I don't know everybody oh, else. Of course. I can't come he better be nice to me. Just kidding. I'll give you a Bunch of fives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where else? Anywhere else you're appearing? Um, yeah, so I actually produce uh, one of my own comedy shows. So it's like a variety show, and and um, and it's also well, the first and third Thursday it's a variety show, and then the second Thursday of each month it's a um, comedy lip sync battle. So it's where nothing like lip syncing, and then you're off a little bit, and you can say they're lip syncing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so it's song, it's comedians lip syncing songs. Oh, oh my goodness! But they oh, have to make it funny. Yes. So it's extremely. Well, I miss the beat every time, so you know, <laughs> the joke's over. <laughs> yeah. Right. No pun intended. <laughs> Yeah. So where's so that? Where do you see um, that? Uh, so that's at a hookah lounge. It's called Hades Hookah Lounge, okay. and it's on Sahara and Jones. Okay. So if you know where Capo's Italian restaurant yes, is, yep. it's really right, right behind there. it. Okay. So yep. now you know where you can go. What when? What time yes. do you start there? Uh, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Yeah. Uh, that's a.m. I'm sorry, no p.m. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Getting my AMs and PMs middle up. <laughs> right. I'm just teasing. So, so you're doing very well out here. Yeah. I so love far, it. So far, so good. I and I think I'm trying. A, well, I think it's your personality because I think your personality is very natural. I think you're very. Thank you. How you are, you are. Right, in right, normal right. Life. Yeah, that's I think true. That's, you know, so I think if you, you know, carry on what you're doing, right, beat them all. Well, and think I'm, the biggest, think big, be big, think small, be small. That's right. That's what I. Feel. I totally agree, and I am just like not designed for to work for other people. You know what I mean? No, like no. in a nine to five or something.
something I like that. I just see in a nine to five. I just cannot. Hovering. You know, with all these little discs, with yeah. all, these, all these partitions. Although, there she is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. Def definitely going to see you. That's for sure. I have a joke about that. Like, well, what uh, is the joke? Um, about being taller than a, a public restroom, bathroom stalls. <laughs> oh, I never thought of that one. Yeah. Like, I, I accidentally scare people sometimes, just pull my pants up. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about getting into a bathroom and you're, you can look over. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. It actually happens in this bathroom right here, too. Yeah, this one's a, bit, well, it's a small bathroom anyway. It's a small know. one, and then um, if you stand up, you can actually look at yourself, like, in the mirror. <laughs> and then it really freaks people out when people are washing their hands. <laughs> She's talking about the bathroom down here at the type of note, and there's two, you can, and there's all these mirrors. Oh, oh, how do I? <laughs> Stop dressing yourself up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, um, actually, we filmed an episode of uh, My Giant Life in here. Oh, really? Yeah, like right over there, because, um, you know, you've obviously been to the bar. I can't yes. fit under the bar. Thing. Well, no. I was going to say, when you, you know? walk into houses or anyway, are you always dodging dodging the frame? Um, so I can fit under normal door frames, but they're it's close, <laughs> depending on what <laughs> shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> no shoes is fine. Yeah, exactly. We're good. We're good. Good with slippers. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, with slippers on. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, we've had an amazing time um, this time with all our <laughs> different guests. They've absolutely wonderful. They've all got the greatest personalities ever out. Absolutely She's incredible. incredible. She's amazing. Um, thank you for watching. Happy 2020. Don't forget the vision 2020. Vegas Live with Ninon. Go to YouTube and subscribe. We'll all see you later. Thanks a lot. Take care. Love you all. Just for an example, this guy, he came up to me the other day, to about right here. <laughs> and he's like, you make me feel like less of a man. But when I heard it was like, you make me feel like less of a man. <laughs> and so naturally I was like, you are less of a man. <laughs> now don't be grumpy. Or dopey. <laughs> Or talk, or happy, or sleepy. <laughs> so, I was on Tinder, and women, you're gonna relate to this, okay? Uh, I was swiping right like crazy, and I am like, why is everyone so hot? Yeah, I was ovulating. <laughs> I remember when I was five six. I love middle school. All right, that's my time.